Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. So today we're actually going to do basically a grocery haul and then I am going to have a little bit of a meal prep in here because I am trying one new meal on Sunday. So I'm going to include that. It is um, a meal from Skinny Taste. It is basically like a southwest chicken bowl thing that we're going to cook. Um, and then I'm just going to pair some rice with it. My other meal for the week is just going to be my Mexican meatloaf with sweet potatoes and then the frozen veggies that I like to season up. I'm also going to make a cheesecake this week for Charlie and I. I have not made dessert in a couple of weeks and this week I was really missing my dessert. So we are going to have a cheesecake to go along with it. I'm also going to make some like peanut butter protein balls. Um, I may show those in the video as well um, in addition to the southwest or mexican chicken bowl i can't remember the exact name of it but i will show it to you whenever i make the recipe of course and go over all of the ingredients at that time but that is what is uh the plan for the day i am um dressed I am getting ready to get in the pool, so I just have on my swimsuit cover-up, which by the way, this swimsuit cover-up is a super cute. This is one I picked up at Marshall's a couple of weeks ago, and I love it. Um, my battery is fixing to die. Let me swap that, and then we will get into the grocery haul. All right, guys, I am back. Battery has been replaced. A couple of other things. Charlie is actually off work for the next two weeks, so um, we don't really have some of our normal stuff. And for lunches, I'm gonna do salads, and he's gonna do salads as well so we do have like some extra lettuce and stuff um he has a pack of ham i think left over from last week and so he's going to try to use that and kind of he likes to make more like a um, like a chef salad i guess and so i got some cheese for him some like shredded just iceberg lettuce for him he will use some of my spring mix too if he wanted to i tried to get a bag of the shredded green leaf lettuce because i love the green leaf lettuce and i saw that kroger had some shredded but it was not in stock also they did not have my zucchini that's supposed to go in the um southwest chicken bowl thing that we're going to make tomorrow so we will have to pick up two or three zucchini later today or in the morning or something before we do our meal prep but but with all of that being said, let's show these groceries and um, that way we can get them put away. All right, so here are the groceries for the week. So we got a pack of chicken per usual. Uh, I may have to pull one additional one out of the freezer. We will probably use a three for the Southwest chicken bowl and then I will do three for my chicken. I just like to cook plain chicken in the crock pot. I really don't season it. Um, and then I just shred that up and use it for my chicken salads. Uh, I did get two things of the ground turkey breast. Um, I'm gonna have Charlie make up some, um, uh, I'm gonna have Charlie make up some turkey burgers and then one of them will be for the Mexican meatloaf. Uh, here is the cheese and stuff. I got a bunch of cheese this week. So Charlie likes cheese and crackers and so I, he likes this uh, already sliced cheese from Kroger. They also have another flavor but they never have that one on the app. I can't remember what flavor that one is. Do you know? This is the Gouda. Havarti. Okay, so he likes to get this sliced Gouda and then there is a Havarti also, but it is never on the app. So I don't know if they've just been out of it or what. You know, we hardly ever go inside the grocery store, but maybe Charlie can make a trip in and get some of that one because sometimes he likes to have two flavors. But regardless, that's his cheese. And then I also got some little crackers for him as well. I'll show you in a minute. I did get another pack of provolone cheese. This is really for the turkey burgers. And then like if we grill out hamburgers, I like provolone cheese on my hamburgers. I got Charlie two packs of mozzarella cheese for pizzas and stuff since he's gonna be here this week. He is gonna eat some salads to try to eat up some of his um, stuff, but then he may want pizza as well. And then he wanted some of this Mexican blend cheese to put in his salads. And then, which we have Miss Luna up here being nosy. Uh, and then for all of the dairy products, I basically got all of the same stuff. I got a thing of eggs, two things of my almond milk, two things of egg whites. No, you are not going to buy that. Um, the Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt, which I do have one unopened in the refrigerator. That's one reason I'm going to go ahead and make the cheesecake this week so that I can use that up. I got me a coffee creamer and then this is Charlie's coffee creamer. Um, I got a couple of limes. This is for the Southwest chicken skillet. Uh, I got some more of these 50% less sugar craisins. What I like to do is half a serving in my salads. And then I also do half a serving of sliced almonds, chicken, lettuce, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and grapes. 
I did get some grapes for my salad. So that is for my salad. That's pretty much all that I put on there. And y'all know I like that honey mustard dressing. Charlie stopped at Sprouts the other day and he got me three bottles of it. The Boathouse Farms honey mustard. I cannot find it anywhere in town except for at Sprouts. So I'm stocked up for a little while. So that's one reason I'm having salads this week. Uh, I got a little thing of cilantro. That's for the Southwest Chicken Bowl. Uh, let's see here. Here's all of my veggies and stuff for the week. So I got some sweet potatoes. We will peel these, dice these up, season them up with cinnamon, pink Himalayan sea salt, and bake those in the oven. Those will be a side along with like the frozen California blend vegetables. And that will be with the meatloaf. I like to make that meal. It's quick. It's easy. You put everything together in the oven all at the same time, all three pans, and then it's all done in like an hour. Uh, and then I got some bell peppers, four of these. So like the two green, one of the yellows, and one of the reds will be for my normal peppers that we dice up for the week. The other two is for the um, Southwest Chicken Skillet Bowl. I'm probably calling that the wrong name this whole time, but regardless. Two of those are for that. And then I also need zucchini. Like I said, they did not have that in stock. I got my bananas per usual. I said I got grapes already. These are for my salads. I did go ahead and pick up one cantaloupe and one pineapple. I really will not need those until later in the week. And so we're not going to cut those up tomorrow as normal. I'm just going to let those sit in the refrigerator and then cut them up maybe on Wednesday or Thursday. That way I can have them like with pizzas and stuff for the remainder of the week. Um, for the Mexican meatloaf, you need a thing of the diced green chilies. So I got one of those. I got a Jiffy corn muffin mix. Y'all know I like to use this to make it, which does make it higher in points. You can just use regular uh, cornmeal and it makes it less points. But regardless, we like it that way. It's the way we've always made it. And then you need some red enchilada sauce. So I got one of those. Uh, I did just pick up a couple of cans of whole kernel corn. I need some corn for... I, the uh, chicken bowl that we're making, I don't know if I'm going to use that or frozen. It said that you could use either, but regardless, I went ahead and picked up two of those. And then I went ahead and picked up two of the sweet cream because I used all that we had last week when I made corn muffins. I did get another pizza sauce. Charlie will be off, like I said, the next couple of weeks, and he tends to eat a lot of pizzas and stuff for lunch. Um, in addition to the salads he's going to eat, I got another thing of no sugar ketchup because I will probably go through most of what I've got left in my bottle in the refrigerator this week with the sweet potatoes. I love to dip those sweet potatoes in the ketchup. So good. Um, these are the crackers that I got for Charlie. He loves these. He also has like some pita crackers, but I just picked up one box of these Italian herb flatbread. There's also like a sea salt version and these are really good. I love them too. Uh, and then for uh, Charlie's salads, he just added this shredded iceberg lettuce, and then he might use some of this spring mix that I picked up, which I had no idea how big this container was. I saw this was 10 ounces. This one was on sale, and it was cheaper than like a five ounce one, so I just went ahead and got it since he was going to eat salads too. This doesn't look like it'll make, but like one or two salads in my opinion, so I think he needs to mix, but regardless... Um, that is fine. And then for my little peanut butter protein balls, and it's peanut butter and almond butter. Uh, I do have peanut butter here, but I did not have any almond butter. So I just picked up this Simple Truth almond butter to add to it. You just need like a half a cup of some kind of nut butter. You can use all peanut butter. You can use all almond butter, whatever you want to use. I'm going to do like a fourth of a cup of each. And then you need some unsweetened coconut flakes. And I think I have all the other ingredients, flax seeds, um, ground flax seed, and uh, I will just use my Matrix peanut butter protein powder in there, oats, things like that. They're really good. They're no bake. You just roll them out into balls, and um, yeah, high protein, very filling because of the nut butters and stuff in there, so super good little treat snack whatever you want to have it for so that is the grocery haul we're going to get this put away and then probably make us some pizzas for lunch and then get ready to get in the pool okay guys real quick i wanted to show you my new couch so we moved the other couch into the living room i got this one that has the chase on it um but i did want to get your opinion so it came with like these ugly like zebra stripe pillows and so i found these pillows at home goods and i like them they're nice and soft and really the exact same like charcoal color um that's in the couch so i like these i want to get your opinion on if you like these better or these others which are basically some pillow covers that i got from amazon let me swap them out 
All right, here are the other pillows. Again, I just ordered these pillow covers on Amazon, which they are super soft, and they have the same charcoal gray color. Got super lucky finding those. So which ones do you like best? I'm actually going to keep both of them, and then I may just swap them out depending on my mood. I have not tried these pillows yet. I've just been using the other ones, but um, I ordered also. We like to keep the couch covered. Normally, I have like these gray blankets on here, but I did get a couple of black blankets to put on here because I think it might look better not too sure because this is a really dark color but again this is where we live this is where we hang out this is where all of the animals hang out they love to lay on the couch you never know what they're gonna do so anyway um and they seem to really like the chase part. I thought that I would really be able to lay there, but it ends up with like two or three animals usually at the end of it, which of course I don't mind. I love them, but we are going to, uh, I'm going to try these pillows out, but let me know which ones you like better. These are a much like cooler tone, but I actually think these look prettier because it's like that silvery color kind of pops in them. Uh, compared to kind of the beigey color that's on the other pillows. But again, I like both. I'm keeping both, and then I can just swap them out. But anyway, Luna's checking out the couch. We took the blankets off because we had the gray ones on there, so we are going to swap those out and wash up the gray ones. So do not throw up, Luna. Luna throws up all the time. So anyway, I think she's already done it once for today. Oh, and Maya is like super mad at me today. Uh, so Maya, every so often, will get a dingleberry. I think I've said it before. And so I had to wrestle this child. It was like Fight Club in the bathroom to try to clean her. And I ended up having to put her in the bathtub and she is still salty with me about it. Here she is. Yeah, did mama have to clean your butthole this morning? Uh-huh. She hissed at me, she bit me. She scratched me like I got like a couple of scratches on my wrist. I don't think you can really see them. Uh, I tried to clean it all off with wipes as much as I could, but we did have to get in the bathtub, which she did not like. You still mad at me? Hmm? Yep. So sometimes she gets one stuck on her and yeah, it was not fun, was it, Mama? No, but you're beautiful. It's actually looking a little cloudy outside. Let's see if it'll focus. It's looking a little cloudy, but I think that we are still going to have a good pool day. And here's Mr. Nico for anybody wanting to see him since y'all got to see Luna and Maya earlier. Say, so I've been a good boy. Yeah, Mama loves you. But anyway, come here. Just let, we're just going to take a picture. Them now. All right, so Charlie is ready to eat. Are you hungry? Yep. He does not eat breakfast. I did have my bacon and eggs, um, so I'm fine. But it is, what time is it? 1230? Yep. So we are going to make pizzas and get in the pool. So anyway, uh, after this, I'm going to go ahead and insert the footage from the meal prep, whatever I show tomorrow. So I hope that y'all enjoy seeing a little bit of meal prep again today. All right, guys, it is the next day. I don't think I've checked in with y'all since I did the grocery haul, but we are here. It is Sunday, and I was going to show you this one new meal that I'm going to try. This is the Southwest Chicken Skillet by Skinny Taste. So let me flip you around here and show you what you need. So here is the recipe. If it will focus, it may or may not. Anyway, I will link it all down below. So everything that you need, you need, it calls for 2.25 pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Of course, I am using the chicken breast. We just have three chicken breasts here cut up into little pieces. Olive oil, which I will use my olive oil spray. Uh, we also are going to need this Mexican seasoning mix, which I have mixed it all up here, and the recipe actually has that as well. This is three tablespoons of chili powder, three-fourths of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, 0.19 teaspoons of cayenne pepper, uh, three-fourths of a teaspoon of oregano, one and a half teaspoons of smoked paprika, one and a half tablespoons of ground cumin, uh, three-fourths of a teaspoon of garlic powder, three-fourths of a teaspoon of onion powder, uh, three-fourths of a tablespoon of kosher salt. I just use sea salt and then uh, three-fourths of a tablespoon of freshly ground black pepper. Uh, so that is the Mexican spice mix. And then for the veggies, uh, I have two red bell peppers here cut into thin little pieces, like it says. I have three uh, zucchini sliced up. Um, I also need three cloves, three cloves of garlic. I'm going to use my minced garlic. I need to get that out. 
Uh, you can use one and a half cups of fresh or frozen corn kernels. I just used one can of the whole kernel corn. I figured that would be about one and a half cups full. Then we need some kosher salt. I'll just use regular salt. Two, three tablespoons of fresh lime juice. It says about two small limes, which that's actually what I have here is two small limes. And then three tablespoons of freshly chopped cilantro. So I have my cilantro here. And then it calls for some cotilla cheese, crumbled, optional. I do not have that, so I will not use it. But anyway, I'm gonna cook all of this up in the skillet together. And then I'm just gonna make some of the seasoned rice to go along with it. So hopefully this is a good recipe. Um, for me personally, this part of the recipe will be zero points. So the only thing that I will have to count is my rice. So um, if you use chicken thighs, it would probably count more. But uh, since I'm using the boneless, skinless chicken breast, that's zero, that's zero, everything. You know, I might count it as a point just for all of the different seasonings because it is quite a bit of seasoning there. But regardless, it doesn't really matter. So all of this is pretty much going to be zero points. And then I will have a cup of rice with it. So the first step says to drizzle the chicken with a teaspoon of olive oil. I'm just going to use my olive oil spray. I'm going to spray it pretty well. And then we are just going to use, it says, a tablespoon of the Mexican seasoning. This is not a tablespoon. I'm just going to kind of wing it here and do a couple of these. This is a teaspoon, actually. I'm just going to, like, mix it around with my hands, and then I'll just wash my hands. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and spray my skillet really well with the olive oil spray, and we are going to add in the chicken, and we're going to cook it. It says for about four minutes until it is brown and cooked through. And then we'll transfer it to a plate and then we will cook the veggies. So in goes the chicken and I will be back once it is done. Okay, so chicken is done. I've transferred it to a plate over here. Now we are gonna go ahead and add in our veggies and our garlic. So I'm gonna add in three teaspoons of this since it calls for three cloves of garlic. And we're gonna go ahead and go in with our red bell pepper, the corn. I'm gonna give it a little mix and then it says to sprinkle some of the Mexican seasoning on here. So this is a teaspoon, so we're gonna go in with one two and a half. So we're just gonna cook this until the bell pepper softens up and then we're gonna add in the zucchini, the rest of the Mexican seasoning and it'll pretty much be done. I have the rice going in the rice cooker so we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and go in with the zucchini. This is gonna have to cook for a few minutes of course until it is softened up as well. And we're going to add some more of the Mexican seasoning. I still have quite a bit left. I don't know if I'm supposed to use all of this in the recipe or what, but you know, we like it spicy, so we're going to try to use it all. I might add some more once I add the chicken back in. Hopefully the skillet is large enough because it is full, but I'm just going to let the zucchini cook down for about five minutes or so. Then all we need to do is put the chicken back in. We're gonna add in the lime juice. We need to get those ready and the cilantro. And this will pretty much be done. I love these one skillet meals from Skinny Taste. Can't go wrong with them. Okay, we are back. I'm gonna go ahead and add back in my chicken. I'm just gonna use the rest of my Mexican spice that we made up, the cilantro, and then our lime juice. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's gonna complete the recipe. I will get it um, plated up here in a little bit and then show you the finished meal prep. Okay, so real quick, I just wanted to show you the cup of rice and I did the um, seasoned rice, which is from Recipe Zaz. It's basically just, um, I did one and a half cups of jasmine rice so that we would end up with six cups of rice to serve which I did and then three cups of liquid which I did one can of chicken broth and then the rest just water and I basically did a teaspoon of poultry seasoning a teaspoon of black pepper and then some of that spray butter in there as well so that makes the rice taste delicious and gives it a little bit of spice to it with that uh, pepper in there as well now we're just going to top it with our chicken and veggies and then this will be one of our meal preps all right here is the completed southwest chicken skillet from skinny taste again i'll have it linked down below on top of a cup of jasmine rice that i season up from the recipes as um 
I think it's Recipes As uh, website. I will link that down below as well. And then for our other meal prep, we just have our Mexican meatloaf, our veggies, and our sweet potatoes. Those are ready. We just need to plate those up. And so that's going to conclude today's uh, vlog, grocery haul, meal prep, all of the above. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.